Bellasini wants students from every class in every school around the world to help her save the world's forests by joining her Million Trees and Messages project. To get started at your school, all you need to do is bring together a small group of students who, like yourself, are interested in saving the world's forests. Once you have established your small group of students, the next step is to speak to some teachers to find out which one of them would be interested in helping you oversee the project at your school. Then, with the help of your teacher, you will need to write a letter to your local government outlining what the aims and objectives of your Million Trees and Messages project are and asking them to allot a piece of public land where you can plant your trees. You will find examples of letters to governments on CINI's Million Trees and Messages website. After you have researched which native trees you will need to plant on your allotted piece of land, you will need to establish a tree nursery at your school. Again, you can find links which will teach you how to build a tree nursery on CINI's Me and Trees and Messages website. Next, you will need to research where to buy native tree seeds from and start a fundraising drive or establish a local market or food stall at your school to raise the money you need to purchase the seeds and equipment for your nursery. You could also look for support from local businesses which are keen to help your school rebuild their community's forests. After about two or three months, the young trees from your nursery will be ready to plant. Get your teacher or school to organize a monthly bus trip to your new forest land so you and your classmates can plant your baby trees. Bellasini asks that you bury a small bottle beneath each tree as you plant it with a note inside stating who planted the tree, the date it was planted and that this tree is your gift to the future. You can also write down your hopes and dreams for the future. Each month when you visit the new forest to plant more trees, make sure you and your friends spend some time taking care of the older trees in the forest you planted earlier. And don't forget to ask your teachers to help you invite local television and media people to each of your tree planting days. It is important that all your local community see what your school and its students are doing to help save your local forests and wildlife. You should also invite local government people to attend each tree planting. If they see firsthand what a great job you are doing for the local community, they will support your school and project with more land to plant more trees. The last thing you need to do each tree planting day is to take lots of selfies, pictures and videos of you and your friends planting the trees. Post them on CINI's Million Trees and Messages Facebook group so the whole world can see what your school and friends are doing to help make the world a safer place in the future. Millions of students from every nation around the world will need to participate in the Million Trees and Messages school project if we are to have any chance of saving the world's forests and our future. So please, share this video with every student, teacher and family you know. And subscribe to Bellasini's YouTube channel so she can keep you up to date with all her initiatives.